Rahul, already flag coming Rahul Gandhi's way because uh, it seems it's been just about 40 minutes where he asked the Prime Minister to increase the cap and lo behold it's already been done. Oh, absolutely. We've heard so far what the senior leaders of the Congress have to say. Now let's listen to one of the youngest people here at the AICC meeting, Jaiwardhan Singh. He's Digvijay Singh's son. He's just won his election from Madhya Pradesh, one of the few Congress people who actually won. Uh, now joining us, the BJP is saying that this was an orchestrated game. Rahul playing to the gallery, appealing to the Prime Minister to increase the cap on LPG cylinders from 9 to 12, and within half an hour it happened. They're saying that this was a fixed match. So, I mean... I am firstly I am way uh, too low as far as the uh, uh, organization is concerned. I am too junior to know whether it was or wasn't. But I really don't think it was. I think um, the main priority of the Congress party is to ensure that whatever schemes we have, whatever uh, plans we have for the people are the ones which uh, are most effective to the, low, uh, to the people in the lower middle class and the people who are not self-dependent, right? And I guess um, if that, you know, it improves, um, uh, you know, it benefits the people in, in that area, like the way Narega benefited them, the way, you know, RT has benefited people, then why not this as okay, well? Okay, tell me as a young Congress leader, what was going through your head? You were out in the gallery listening as Rahul was speaking. Is this the best you've heard Rahul speak and what, what was going through your head? Honestly, it's the first time I've... I've, I've seen him speak live on, on such an occasion and I was actually sitting quite far away where the media people were and I heard quite a few people saying that this is the best they've heard um, you know, Rahul Gandhiji speak and also people were saying it's like a historic speech in, in a way and I felt the link which he um, put as far as how Congress has been there since before independence and how I, you know Congress is part of India's DNA and that we all should strive to ensure that that continues throughout the rest no, of our one lives. One of the things Rahul spoke about was opening up the system, getting more young people from non-dynastic families into the system. But the reality is when it comes to getting a ticket, someone like you, who's the son of a senior Congress leader, has it far easier than someone who comes from a non-political family. That system hasn't changed despite Rahul harping on this for the last 10 years now. But it takes time, sir, because, you know, and it's... I think I'm, I agree with you as far as dynastic politics is concerned. I do agree that at my first election I did get some benefit of uh, by being someone's son. But firstly, it does not exist only in the Congress party. It exists in every political party, including the BJP. Secondly... No, but Rahul saying he wants to change that. And he hasn't succeeded so far. He had 10 years to do but, so. But it will take time because it's, it's, a, it's a huge structural change. And... The biggest, I think, uh, point that you should look at is to also see how many people whose uh, fathers are politicians were denied tickets. That's a huge number. And I know that for a fact because there were lots of them in Madhya Pradesh itself. Um, people whose fathers are politicians, whose uncles are politicians, who did not get the ticket. So if you take that average, it has definitely come down. And, and, and I believe that as time goes by, it will keep in, uh, becoming lower because he has democratized the system in the Congress. As a party. young Congress worker, do you think now it's too late for Rahul Gandhi to try and revive the party at least in time for the 2014 elections? There was a sense of despondency in the party cadre before he spoke. Has his speech lifted that pall of gloom or is it just too late now to change things? Well, it, it's a good point as to what should be the strategy now. And uh, there are two things which I think are very essential. One is that whatever he spoke about, if each and every Congress party worker takes it seriously and, you know, lives by it and stands by it and works through that your same ideology then we can make a difference that it has to happen in every polling booth secondly we must declare candidates as soon as possible so that they have time but to he's prepare. made rousing speeches in the past and gone into political hibernation immediately thereafter what's the guarantee that won't happen this time then? so I, I don't think I think it's very wrong to say political hibernation people at that level when you're looking after the entire par country's uh, you know party organization you have to have times you know in the you know, on the drawing board you know being in the uh, back end doing the planning and strategy so that's why he doesn't come across you know all the time on television but now is the time when all the workers have to be at the polling booth. Rahul Gandhi can't be at each and every location all the time. And now it comes down to selecting the candidates and ensuring that every person who gets the ticket for each and every member of parliament constituency, you know, uh, works at a polling booth You've level. You've studied in the US. Do you support the idea of primaries that Rahul wants to introduce? People will say he's copying Kejriwal. So see, it, it's a very relative question, sir. You know, thing is, if you see the Youth Congress, that's already happened, right? You already have elections for the Vidhan Sabha Youth Congress Adhyaksh for the Lok Sabha Youth Congress Adhyaksh and I guess he wants to do it at every level and to see whether it will work 
I, the question is, the answer I don't know. I mean, it's it's for us to really see what happens ahead, and if. The Congress keeps benefiting. I mean, he mentioned 15 constituencies, right? He mentioned 15 constituencies where he will go to the entire district, to the block, to the panchayat level, to the ward level, and then decide the candidate. So let's see 15 seats, and let's see after May, then what's the winning person in those 15 seats? Perfect. Thank you very much for joining us so much, and sharing with us your thoughts on Rahul Gandhi's uh, speech. Clearly, there's a great sense of enthusiasm amongst the Congress workers over here. Whether that enthusiasm is shared by people out on the street, those who don't belong to the Congress, is a different question. But as far as lifting the morale of a dispirited cadre is concerned, Preeti, you've seen fairly clearly from uh, the lower level workers to the senior senior leadership, they're all feeling more pumped up than they have been uh, in a long time, especially since the 8th of December, Preeti.